Hi and welcome to the Road Essentials tutorial. This tutorial is about how to create a road in Unreal Engine 4 or 5. We need for this Unreal Engine 4 or 5, any version of it, and uh, of course the Road Essentials pack. So when we have the Road Essentials pack loaded in our or integrated in our project, we go to the Meshes folder and here we um, decide now if we want to build a bridge, a federal road like a rural or a country road or a highway like a two, three, four lane or multiple lane highway. I built uh, today this country road here behind and we go to the federal folder. This road here is a RQ95, I think so. Yeah, 95 um, road. These names 105975 uh, describes the size of the road. Typical German standard, a standard to uh, describe how big or how many cars drive per day on the road here. Uh, RQ95 road is a typical country road. This one here is a RQ75 road, which is more like a town connection road, uh, yeah, with less uh, vehicles that it drives uh, daily. So to build these roads, um, by the way, these names are explained on the website, on the documentation website, so don't worry if you have no idea what I'm talking about. So, and to build this uh, wonderful roads here, we click now on, for example, the SM, which stands for Static Mesh, BS, RQ105, and then we go on the top left corner to Landscape, um, and open the Landscape tab here, go to Manage, and we build this road with Landscape Splines. This uh, gives us a uh, great control over the road, uh, the landscape deformation, which is maybe needed or maybe not needed. And we click here on splines. And we start now here to click on any position where we want to start the road here on our landscape. Like, let's say here. Now we press um, control, left click, and then we go to the details panel on the right side. Like I did here. I pin this now up because it's... Uh, Crazy to open this over and over again. Then we go to the half width and we say here 250. Then we go to the side fall off and here we type 500 in. And when we did this, I can click on any other position here. Let's check if everything is here. Then we hold control or make a left click to yeah, draw road. So we click here on some points and now you see a very curvy road. Um, to add the road mesh to this spline, we go to the top right corner and then we click on segments. Here we go to cast shadows and say false, so remove the tick here. And then we click on the plus icon, add element on spline meshes. Now we have index zero here, we open this and click now on this arrow here, so the left arrow. Um, because we auto assign now the street mesh which we selected in our content draw here. We selected this one here and can add or add this directly to the road. And you see we have the road here, but it's not done yet because the road is maybe too big or maybe too small. So we have to remove the tick on scale to width. Now we have the complete size of the road, the original size of the road. And I think we can completely be fine with this. But the problem is, um, some parts of the landscape overlap with our road. And this is not a big problem. We click on the top right corner on segments again. So we have to select all of our spline here. Then we click on landscape on the top left corner. And then we click on uh, deform landscape to spline only selected. So this is important because only selected. When you click on all splines, all your splines in your whole level will um, get deformed. And this is something you maybe uh, don't want because when we adjusted this road here, maybe uh, some things here can change and this is not uh, so nice. So just click on landscape and then only selected under the category splines. And you see everything is fine here. We have still some overlapping um, landscape mass things, whatever. And we click here on only selected uh, a couple of times. And I think now it's fine. And the rest of the work we have to do by hand, which is not a big problem. We go to scalp, go to scalp here and say the tool uh, strength is set to, let's say, 5%. I decrease the size of the brush to 300. And now we work with a wonderful road and I 
just yeah draw the or remove the landscape mass here. I think this looks very nice. Yeah, we see that here uh, some mass was added. If this is not an, uh, not enough, yeah. If this is not enough, and you see that, uh, for example, here is something like this that the road is uh, flying in the air. Uh, this is because we don't have added enough side fall off. Yeah. So to adjust this, we can go again to the spline. Then we click on the road. We say control points on the top right corner. And then we uh, have to adjust the half width and the side fall off like I did now or like I do now. Uh, so you see the wonderful line here. This is a side fall off. Uh, so we know that when, yeah, do you see the constant green line here? This is a problem. The half width is uh, smaller than the road. When I increase this value to, let's say, 500, that the side fall off is starting now here on the edge of the road. To I would say let's increase this to uh, 510, like this, or 500, uh, 520. Yeah, this is good. Now we have here the, fall off, uh, the side fall off. So this is a side fall off and this is a um, border where it should start the side fall off. So the side of the road, which is good. We click on segments, we click on landscape and now we click on only selected. And now we see that the road fits on the ground. We have enough space and this is completely fine. When you now notice that the road is still flying in the air, you can just click again on control points. And we can um, adjust single control uh, points like this one here. Uh, the end is always flying in the air. Um, this is uh, because this is the end of the spline. So let's uh, visit this point, which is not the end of the spline. And you see this one is flying in the air. You have multiple ways to fix this issue. We can uh, move this one here down. This is possible, yes. Uh, this is also, we can also um, say that the spline uh, should be by default a little bit uh, lower. So to fix this. But uh, you see here a transition, a fading transition between your road and the landscape. And that this one here is flying um, is normal. You see the road mesh goes uh, here up to here. But our material just goes up to here. This is because you can set up a transition between your mesh and your landscape. To have a, uh, yeah, let's call it fake like blending effect. Um, the logic is that this is uh, intended to be a good transition between your uh, ground material and the road. To manipulate the whole stuff, we can click on the mesh of the road. We selected it here. And then we can go into the road material. And we have here fading limiter and fading intensity. We have to change the fading intensity. I show you what I mean. It's very easy. So we have here a flying road. We can fix this. If you don't want to have a transition or <clears throat> blending uh, zone, we can scale this up or down. When we scale it down, um, it gets smaller. When we scale it up, it gets... Um, yeah, you see what I mean. Sorry, I'm a little bit ill. So, yeah. Now we have here the sides included. Uh, to be honest, I think it's nicer when we change it to the value uh, we had um, before because the player will not really note it, uh, notice it. And I think it's completely fine. In case of emergency, we can just um, put it on the ground here. And bam, it also looks very nice. So we can do some adjustments like we can do a center adjustments i told you before that you can uh, put it down to the ground by default a little bit and to do this we can click on all segments and change the center adjust and here we have the x um, axis and the epsilon axis and now we can try what we have to change let's say the x axis by minus 10 okay this is the wrong one then minus 10 epsilon Oh, nice. Okay. This was the right one, but we have to adjust it now. Though minus five is too much. Let's say minus two. Uh huh. And now we see the road is not uh, flying so much anymore, but it's, it's still flying. To be honest, it's still flying. Minus three, minus four. Let's say minus four. I think minus five is too far, but minus four is perfect. 
And now you see the road is perfectly on the ground. Um, I do this now for every spline, so minus four for everyone. And we can see here that now some of the uh, terrain is overlapping, which is not a big deal. We can adjust it. But uh, I would recommend to you, if you find any flying pieces of your road, it uh, don't. Um, it's not the thing of your whole road. So just uh, use the Skype tool to make the ground a little bit higher or just the control points here, which are the mountain icons. You can see when we go to the spline mode. These are the control points and these are here the segments. Segments, control points. Very easy. Yeah. Um, a little tip. If you see something like this here, the um, curve is not very nice. We can adjust it by yeah, rotating the whole stuff, the control point. But if you press um, space, we have here the tra uh, transition modes where we can move uh, uh, the stuff on any axis. But we have also, when we press again on space, the rotation. But we have again a very nice feature um, which the most people don't recognize. We click again space and then we have here these strange um, things which we can uh, move. And you see we can increase or decrease the curve radius which is very very nice because you see we have here a wonderful curve now and we can do the same with this one here. I think it looks uh, it looks very nice now and not so yeah not so sharp. Let's let's call it sharp. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you want to see more tutorials um I continue in the following days to show you how to change uh, the lane markings, the color of the lane markings, the road material, how to create wonderful you can see it how I did it but never mind I show you then how to um, build these wonderful intersections here, like I did here. Or when we follow the road, uh, this one below. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, or how to build um, highways, like this one here. I love it. <laughs> yeah, okay, see you. Have a nice day.